Morning in the buzz, apparently Mel Gibson does not want to talk about his past. Dean Richards, an entertainment reporter for a Chicago station, interviewed the actor via satellite about his new movie, Edge of Darkness. It's the first time Mel has really starred in a uh, solo role in seven years. Now, the exchange turned sour when Richard asked Gibson's about how he thought that the public perceives him. Take a look. Do you think that the uh, public will perceive you any differently? after all that's been in the news about you? What are you referring to specifically? <laughs> Refer referring to the, uh, you know, the uh, drinking problems, referring to what's been called the anti-Semitic rant, referring yeah, that's, all, that's, all, all those I, things. I, I, you, know, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Uh, okay, so uh, that's almost four years ago, dude. I mean, I've moved on. I guess you haven't. Well, so I'm, just, I'm just wondering if you think that the, the public has has moved on and will perceive you in the same light well i certainly hope so you know it is a while back and uh, you know i've done all the necessary mea culpas so um let's move on dude come right. on uh edge of darkness opens uh today it's good to see you back in the saddle and uh, doing what you do best thanks a lot for joining us mel take care bye bye Now I'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you what happened right there because this happened to me. <laughs> Shock. No 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 no. Shock. No this happened to me. When he said thank you we appreciate it, yeah. Mel thought he was off the satellite, and then he threw a a bomb yeah. he threw an a bomb out there, and and that's what happened. Um, I don't know what do you think. Listen I I am so tired of these celebrities trying to control their image where they only want this good stuff talked about they don't want the bad stuff those days are over I mean there's just no way to completely control it and don't go on a live interview right. if you don't want to be surprised with what people are going to ask yep. and guess what I haven't forgotten about all of his uh, rants and troubles exactly. I can't believe it's, it was actually four years ago well, it doesn't seem know, that long ago right. you know what's funny is is that he has a whole team of people of PR people and, and <clears throat> handlers and, and you would think that one of them or a couple of them would have said hey Mel somewhere along the line somebody's going to ask you about yeah. that drunken anti-semantic rant that you had with the LAPD and you're going to have to handle it in a proper way and in the beginning I thought he did. Yep. I thought he was on that path to say, you know what, I said my mea culpas, I, it was four years ago, I've tried to move past this, I'm sorry about what I said, I'm a different person, and uh, you know, that's really all I have to say about it, I made a mistake and I'm sorry for it, and that's really all I can say. Yeah, the reporter, I think, was doing, was doing his job, I mean, these are the questions he has to ask, you know, people want to know. But, uh, I mean, let's face it, when it comes down to it, the guy's a movie star. So he, he said something yeah. to a reporter. Who the heck even knows where the guy was from? I didn't recognize Chicago. him. Yeah. Chicago. This, this came out of Chicago. I mean, you know, that's what movie stars do. Right. Does that really shock anybody? Like, <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, well, it does. I think it does. I think because... You it, think that shocks people? Yeah, because I think it shows no respect. I think it shows no respect to the audience. It shows no respect to the interviewer. It just shows no respect. Period. Movie, movie stars very rarely do, though, unfortunately. Uh, this is the they times don't, we they live don't, in, They don't always throw out an A-bomb or an F-bomb and all that kind of stuff. And, and I just, you know, m maybe we're watching different things. But for, for me, it just shows I, I just, that... He, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, for me, it shows that he, that he clearly has learned nothing <laughs> yeah. in the last four years because he's still, still, doesn't really care what people still think, apparently. making well, these mistakes, which yeah. I'm sure in the coming days we're going to hear him come out, apologize, of course. You, you know, know what? And people may, are free to ask those questions. You may not. Maybe not. You may not. You know what, though? The movie looks good, and I bet people are still going to go. <laughs> are we talking then, about the movie it, at all? No, is, yeah. is he going to learn his lesson, though, if the movie makes yeah. $100 million bucks? But see, not, but, hey, but what do they say? There's Any publicity. It's good, good publicity. Exactly. <laughs> there you go, Courtney. Do you guys think he's going to apologize because this happened after the interview, though? Do you think no, I don't. A, yeah, I mean, he thought he was off camera, so I don't know. I, I think he thought that the satellite went down and uh, he made an off-color remark. Yeah. He didn't think anybody heard. It happened to me. Uh, I was interviewing someone, and uh, it, it got into a little bit of a tense interview. And uh, I got the same A-bomb, and they were off camera. And we took the tape, and we sent that to American mm -hmm. Airlines to the woman and said, be careful what you say, make sure you're off the camera before you say it.
Either that or rip your mic off, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the lesson is here. But um, the bloggers and some of our friends on Facebook actually are siding with Mel, which is interesting. So let's take a look at what some of them have to say right now on FoxProvidence.com. This one is from Rick and Verm, and he says, I think Mel Gibson has a right to be agitated at the question, but I also think that he needs to understand that as a celebrity, questions about his past are inevitable. And Lisa goes on to say, yes, it comes with the territory when you're a celeb, too. So here's our poll on FoxProvidence.com. I also have the link to this video if you're just catching up with us and want to watch it. Who do you think handled the interview inappropriately? A, reporter, talk about movie and not the past, or B, Mel, questions for celebs are fair game. So you can weigh in there or you can also chime in with our Roadshow fans on Facebook. And uh, Patricia Fargley says, if you're in the spotlight or at home, you should be able to keep yourself in check. The next day you will look like a bigger fool if you don't. And Anthony Brooks says, I have to side with Mel Gibson on this one. People need to just let the past go and move on. And Corey again sides with him, says, I think he's sick of being brought up in interviews. It was an interview for his new movie, not his problems in the past. So if you guys feel differently, if you're siding with the reporter, hop on now and leave a comment. Maybe we'll read that at the end of the show. But uh, for now, we're going to head to the